In many reading comprehension tests, we have this issue of distractors, and a distractor is a piece of information which is meant to trick you. So the idea is we don't just select information because it happens to be in the text and also in the question. We need to really think deeply and make sure that we're choosing the right answer based on all of the information and not just the fact that it's re the same information is repeated in the text and the question. So let's have a look at this example. Many street children choose entrepreneurship because it allows them a degree of independence and is less exploitative than many forms of paid employment. In order to become more independent, street children may reject paid employment. So straight away, I think, wow, we've got one, a total match there. So is that perhaps the answer? So a lot of people, especially if they're running out of time, will just say, well, that must be the correct answer without reading more deeply. But let's keep looking. Uh, leave their families. Well, there's nothing about that, no. Um, so we'll just cross that out. Set up their own business. Well, there was something about that. Many children choose entrepreneurship because it allows them a degree of independence. Become more independent. So allows them a degree of independence. More independent. There's something that's connected. Choose entrepreneurship. So entrepreneurship, what is entrepreneurship? Well, entrepreneurship is setting up your own business. So I think that actually looks pretty good. Uh, and then employ other children. Well, that's clearly wrong. There's nothing about that. I'll cross that out. So is less exploitative than many forms of paid employment. So we've got this, this idea. What's more important? Is it the entrepreneurship or rejecting paid employment? Well, I think to become more, more independent, a degree of independence, it must be C. It must be setting up their own business. And so I'll cross that one out as well. So a, a tricky question. However, if we read it carefully, we can actually see that there is a distractor there and that that is the right answer by using synonyms and parallel phrases. So another important strategy that we've already actually demonstrated is the idea of crossing out incorrect answers. So here's an example of a text. The next hardware feature to consider is the screen, also known as the monitor. There are numerous functions of a monitor that help the user make multiple adjustments according to the needs of each individual. So we're talking about computer screens making adjustments. According to the article, computer monitors are designed to display audible information. Well, audible is something that you hear, and I don't think there's anything related to that. So no, I'll cross that out. Be limited in height. I can't remember anything about limitations. Numerous functions, multiple adjustments, nothing about limitations, so I'll cross that one out as well. Include various viewing settings. So various, numerous functions, various viewing settings of a monitor. That looks pretty good. Show colorful lights and buttons. So nothing about colors or buttons or anything like that. So I'll cross that out. So our answer is C. So turning to the third strategy now is about making an intelligent guess and moving on. So reading comprehensions are, are quite tricky. There's, as we saw, there's distractors, there's difficult words, there's synonyms, parallel phrases, lots of information that you have to cover. And we sometimes can get overwhelmed or a little bit panicky. So we, at some stages, we just need to make an, a guess and move on. It's essential that you answer all questions. So to start off with, you must answer all of them. You don't get penalized for making a mistake, so give everyone a go. Even if you have no idea what the correct answer is, just try. If you're taking too long on one question, guess the answer and move on. You've only got a short amount of time. You've got to, you might get some, some easy ones at the start, which uh, uh, mean that you've got a bit more time to answer the more difficult ones, but you've got to be able to do a few practice tests and, and try and understand your timing. Because if you take too long on one question, all of a sudden it can really change your mood and uh, you can start to panic and, and that's not good. If you do skip a question by guessing it, uh, you must move on mentally too. So you might... Uh, be a bit upset about what just happened or the last passage, maybe you got three or four questions, you had no idea. You can't dwell on it. You can't get too caught up emotionally or mentally. So don't waste precious time or mental energy stressing about the fish that got away. It's, it's past, it's finished.
keep going uh, and just get to the, the end of the test as, as uh, well as you can. You can come back to a, a question later if you find you have enough time at the end of the, uh, the reading test. That's true. So if you need that extra time, you can uh, come back to a question. But uh, sometimes that's, that might not be possible. So the idea is that you answer all of the questions and that you try and think about your timing, that you uh, prepare yourself. You do practice tests beforehand and you know approximately how long you've got. Also, of course, look at the clock uh, Make sure you're aware of how much time you have left.